Hello dear students, I'm Mr. Hassan Hamdani. This video is for grade 8. I will help you to better understand chapter 1, which is design fundamentals. The learning objectives for this chapter are as follows. You should be able to define the terms ergonomics and ergonomics. Define ergonomic factors to be considered when designing products as well as identify anthropometric data to be used when designing ergonomic products. The view of this chapter is as follows. Design fundamentals. We are going to look at ergonomics, applications and hazards. And for anthropometrics, we are going to look at the importance of anthropometrics, the data that has to be collected and also the environmental considerations. Class discussion. From the image, you can see that the person is not well seated. Can you identify the various problems? Most of the problems lie with the posture of this person. The second image shows a person lifting thing from a box. Here also we can see that the person has used the wrong posture. The third picture shows a before after. In the before picture we can see that the person has to put a lot of effort to drag a heavy block. On the contrary, in the after picture we can see that the person can easily push that heavy block. We are going to look at examples of products that we use at home. The first product is a food can. We can see that one product is easy to use and the variation of the same product is hard to use. Can you tell why one food can opener is easy to use and why the other one is hard to use? If you have come up with the answer that one foot can opener requires more effort whereas the other one requires less effort then you have got the right answer. The second product that we are going to look at is two examples of a doorknob. So one is easy to turn and the second one is harder to turn. The reason why one is easy to turn, it is simply because the handle or the knob takes the shape of your hand. So it is very natural to grab the handle. Whereas the second one, it has a round shape. Although it can be turned in any direction, it becomes difficult to turn the knob if you have sweaty or wet hands. How are we going to define the term ergonomics? In simple terms, ergonomics can be defined as the relationship between the user and the product. You can also say that ergonomics is the emotion that a person feels when using a particular product. When we talk about an ergonomic product, we can say that the product is either comfortable, easy to use, lightweight, easy to access, safe or does not cause pain or injury after prolonged use. We can apply these elements to any product. For example, a water bottle is comfortable to grab. It is easy to use since you do not have to put much effort to open the cup. It is lightweight, therefore you can carry it easily. It is easy to access since it fits within your grip. You can hold it. It is safe to use because there are no sharp edges or pointed edges. It also does not cause pain or injury after prolonged use. Applications of ergonomics Here you have been asked to write down examples of ergonomic products. All products, they have certain elements of ergonomics which we have discussed earlier. For example, a water bottle 
a mug, your purse, your earphones, your copybook, your pen, your laptop, your mobile phones, and there are so many different products that have to obey more or less the rules of ergonomy. Here is a list of ergonomic products, but it is not limited to only these products. Applications of ergonomics. So we are going to look at an in-depth application of ergonomics on an office chair. As you can read from the screen, there have been many considerations to help improve the design and the use of this product. We are going to look at another example of application of ergonomics. As you can see from the screen, this is a claw hammer which is being used to nail. The position of the person's wrist is very inconvenient and can cause pain. To remedy this situation, we can design the hammer as such that the hammer head can be rotated in the necessary direction so that the wrist remains in a natural position. The next example is that of a keyboard. As you can see, the hands are not in a natural position. That is, you have to bend the wrist in a certain position so that you can use the keys on the keyboard. As you can read, the poor design can lead to harmful effects such as painful joints. To improve the keyboard, the alignment of the keys must be altered and the shape and design of the mouse also have to be modified. To further understand ergonomics, we are going to look at a baby high chair. They tend to move in all directions and they can be very unpredictable. So when products are designed for babies, there are a lot of ergonomic factors that have to be taken into consideration to ensure the safety and comfort of the baby. You can read from the screen the different variations of the ergonomic that have been applied to the baby high chair. How are we going to describe four ergonomic features of a baby high chair? The next part that we are going to study is that of ergonomics in the design of workstations. A workstation is where a person works. So we can relate that to an office where there is the office table or the computer table and an office chair. So since that person has to work for long hours, we have to ensure that all the ergonomic factors have been considered to make the task easier and efficient. As you can read from the screen, there are several factors that have been considered. For example, the natural movement of the arms have to be respected. Therefore, the keyboard must be placed at a certain distance from the elbows. Next question is, you have to write down three ergonomic factors related to the design of workstations. We can see that wheels have been attached to the chair which facilitates movement of the person. It has reclined seats. It means that the person can lean easily on the chair. There are proper lighting systems which mean that the person doesn't have to put much effort on to reading or writing or doing any tasks that he or she is carrying out. Ergonomic hazards. What happens when products are not used or designed properly? So previously, we have mentioned the examples of the glow hammer, the foot can opener, or even the keyboard. So the answer is that this can lead to injuries or a lot of pain. Ergonomic hazards. Hazard refers to danger. So what would be the ergonomic dangers? The examples are as follows. Hard intensive work, wrong way of lifting heavy objects, improper postures, repetitive tasks. We are now going to look at different examples. From the picture, we can see a farmer watering his vegetables. This person has to carry heavy water cans to and fro to irrigate his farm. 
This is an example of an improper and proper posture. For example, if we lift heavy objects in the wrong way, we are going to suffer from severe back pain. So we have to maintain proper posture when lifting heavy objects. It is very common to sit the wrong way especially when for example in the DT lab you sit on the stool. Since there is no backrest, we tend to lean forward and sit like a banana. So in order to correct that posture, we have to sit upright and straight. Repetitive thoughts as this person is teaching can lead to injuries or pain because the same task is being carried out again and again throughout the day and every day of the week and from many years it can lead to severe health problems. So now we are going to identify four ergonomic factors of the headphone given below. From the arrows, we can see that soft material makes the headphone comfortable on the head. The soft material also makes it comfortable on the ears. The headphone can be adjusted on the sides and it can be adjusted to various head sizes. And finally, the buttons are easy to press. The last part of this chapter refers to anthropometrics. Anthropometrics is a very important factor that have to be considered when designing products. It is impossible to obtain an ergonomic product without considering the anthropometric factors. So what do we understand by anthropometrics? Here is an illustration of a workstation. This person has to reach out to the keyboard. The office chair is at a certain height. The backrest is situated at a certain height. The eye level of the user has a particular distance from the screen and so on. We are also going to refer to anthropometric data as you can see from the picture. We see a person standing and sitting and also we can see dimension. Here is an elaborated anthropometric data for a male and a female. Here we can see hand measurements of men, women and children. Here we see the various body parts and how we call them. This book is a reference for human dimensions. How are we going to define the term anthropometrics? It deals with human body parts measurements. As we have mentioned earlier about dimensions. For example, when you go to buy a shoe, you're not going to pick the first shoe that you see. You're going to look at the different models available and then you're going to choose those which or according to your taste and you're going to try them on so when you're trying the shoes in your feet you're going to look at the ergonomic factors of the shoe but those ergonomic factors depend on anthropometric data this classwork asks you to write down four advantages of applying anthropometrics when designing products and services the product is fit for use for many people, such as a car, it has to be fit for many people. There is an increased level of safety when you use a shoe which is adapted for your feet, you will feel comfortable as well as safe. It contributes in bringing comfort when you sit on your couch, you feel good. For example, when you wear the headset or your headphones, you feel very comfortable. It leads to higher efficiency in working. When we take into consideration the anthropometric data of a person when designing, for example, a keyboard, 
the person is going to type more efficiently thus doing the work better so you have to know that human dimensions vary from one person to another the anthropometric data for a range of people must be considered when designing products and this data will also vary according to the gender age of the people and the different races of people for example asians tend to be shorter and europeans tend to be taller and broader we have reached the last part of this chapter we are going to study environmental considerations in order to be able to control the environment humans have invented or devised a few equipment these can be air conditioners fans heater lighting system and humidifiers when you feel very hot you can either switch on the air conditioner or the fan this will make you feel comfortable in that environment and on the contrary if it is very cold you're going to turn on the heater for you to see properly in the room you're going to use the lighting system and to make the air breathable we're going to use humidifiers in order to measure how much you have understood so far about ergonomics let us have this class discussion what changes you could bring to chairs to make them more comfortable after closely looking at both chairs we can summarize the following we have to install softer cushions we have to put higher backrest for better neck support we have to use smoother armrest and we have to lower the leg to seat easily We have reached the end of this video. I thank you for your attention and if there's any question that crops up feel free to ask me. Till then, take care and see you soon.